Huge moment. She was waiting on Chandler. Just what? Oh my God! Oh God, Monica, tell me you were waiting for a guy. Please tell me you're waiting for a guy. I'm seeing a guy from work. Ha! She even sounds like Chandler now. I'm seeing a guy from work. Ha! Like that's that's literally what Chandler would say. Well, not a guy. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a gay joke right there. <laughs> this is literally mirroring uh, Chandler and Joey's friendship right now. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are all here. My office finally got wrinkle-free fax paper. <laughs> Way to save yourself, buddy. <laughs> Way to save yourself. <laughs> Bro came in kind of smooth with it. He even flipped it, like, in his in his right hand or left hand. And my agent got me a job as co-host. Of PBS? Yeah, a little uh, good deed for PBS. Nice. It is about time. Give this man some character development, please. Besides kidney stones. This isn't a good deed. You just what? want to get on TV. This is totally selfish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about you Ooh. having those babies for your brother? Talk about selfish. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dude, that's not selfish. I don't think that's how that works. See now now I gotta now I gotta think. Are there unselfish good deeds? Yeah, well sorry to burst that bubble, Phoebes, but selfless good deeds don't exist. I'm gonna find a selfless good deed. I'm gonna beat you, you evil genius. Evil genius? That's a pretty big word for Joey. I miss you too. You said someone else's name. Will she let that slide though? Joey, when you said the deal with Santa Claus, you meant... That he doesn't exist. Right. Did she know that? Oh no! What have you done? I'm so sorry, neighbors. <laughs> I know my neighbors. <laughs> He'd probably be like, oh, there that YouTuber go again. <laughs> I want to meet this guy who's the best sex she ever had. Really? Really? Is that what she said? Interesting. That's nice. That is a huge confidence booster for Chandler. Now she's regretting telling uh, Rachel. But I'm the host. No, Gary Collins is the host. You'll be answering the phone. I was Dr. Drake Ramore. <laughs> well, here's your phone, doctor. And the disrespect. No character development for Joey. Nobody cares about Dr. Amore. If you're cooking on the stove, does that mean that your new secret boyfriend is better in bed than Richard? Is he? Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to know too now. Peer pressure. If this guy was me, I'd be going like this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Shout out all the homies that, that have been told you're the best sex I've ever had. Dang, I know I just said that from a perspective in which I, I couldn't speak of, but it's like, I don't want to reveal too much, you know? It's my first time talking about this. Well, you have to understand how humiliating it was for me up on that altar in front of my entire family, all my friends. I know, I am. Yeah, like, that's so hurtful, dude. I'll come to New York and we'll try to make this work. As long as you don't see Rachel anymore. Don't see Rachel? Yeah. I mean, you should kind of expect no less. You know, you kind of brought this thing. I'm gonna be honest. Like, he kind of brought this on himself, did he not? But she can't exactly not see Emily. I mean, that's his wife. I've known Rachel since high school, and you cannot just cut her out of your life. That's no, you true. Cannot. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Problem solved. <laughs> Ross's mannerisms are so funny sometimes. His little hands. Well, not little hands, but you know. I just thought maybe you'd want to book some time with the best you've ever had. I think I'll pass. Why? <laughs> I should have seen this coming. <laughs> I should have seen this coming. Kind of wanted to know your point, though. Like, she just mocked him, but it's like, what was wrong with the dance? It was kind of a fire dance. Though, I think she did it a little better, but Joey's about to lose his job. Pledge. And at that time, tell the operator, one of our volunteers, what type of programming you Oh my gosh! <laughs> How is that not on the news? I cannot make this decision. Just gonna leave it entirely up to the gods of fate. What do, you, what do you do? Viewers watching, what do you do in this situation? You gotta choose between your best friend and your wife? 
Who do you choose? Will Chandler have sex tonight? Don't count on it. <laughs> What's he doing like that? For his, for his dance? Come on, man. Like, I know he got a little cocky, though, but really? That sucks. That sucks. Oh, yeah, but also, isn't Ross... Ross is normally clean-shaven, but he grew his, like beard out a little bit just to like kind of exemplify that he's stressing out so so hard yeah, look, look, all right they both got what they wanted Isn't that great? Hey, my that's got awesome jelly on TV. oh that makes me feel so oh no oh <laughs> i mean it's kind of after the fact so it doesn't count right but when i'm with you and we're together oh my god okay janice Janice stands watching this in amazement. <laughs> Speechless. But I just cleaned the bathroom. Yeah, why don't we lose the gloves? Yeah. Ow! You know that wasn't part of it. I know. Uh. And we're leaving her door wide open. <laughs> Little plot hole right there. Somebody breaks in, steals all the belongings, like that one episode. Kind of what Emily wants. Why don't you talk to me about it? Maybe I can help. Nah, you can't really help in this particular episode not today i'm just saying if you need somebody to talk to hi she's so nice this is making it harder stop being generous like dang this writing is pissing me off because it's good writing it's emily please rachel don't say anything i've been thinking about that thing you you wanted me to do and uh i can do it yikes i this is gonna be devastating this is going to be devastating. This season is going to be nuts. That was a good episode. I really just want to get into the next. But this episode, I feel like I don't know what I'm going to feel. Am I going to be crying or am I going to be like upset, hurt? I feel like I'm going to have so many mixed emotions. Because like just right now, what, what was this? Episode four? Just right now. I'm feeling, I'm already having mixed emotions, right? At the end of episode four, like it, it's giving me season finale vibes. Like it's giving me episode, like the immediate episode that precedes uh, the season finale, you know? Like it feels like that kind of setup, but it's episode four? Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I just, I want to get into the next ones because this was too great. This was too great of an episode. It's like, I, I normally like to talk about how the episode went, yada, yada, yada. But it's like, oh my gosh, I can't do that. I want to see what happens. All right, so I'm, I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next. <laughs> Sit down, the price is right.